Uh, one more thing before we go. I was gonna let this slide, but I can't. I don't know what's going on with Akbar and Alexis Kai and Leah Galore. I personally uh, don't care. One thing I do care about is getting children um, involved in situations they have no reason being in. I don't know who started this or who said what, but according to Akbar, she received news that Alexis Sky said something about her kids, and that eventually led to this. That bitch is going missing for a fucking month. Bitch, you got a brain dead baby. Your baby ain't got a fucking brain. Bitch, you got a retarded child, and you mentioning my children. Like, there's no disrespect to Lele. Like, but you got a, a fucking retarded kid, a special need kid, and you right here talking about somebody's children. Take care of your kids, bitch. You was sleeping on my sofa, homeless. Bitch, stop playing with me while you was pregnant. You was in Miami on a boat, slow paddle, while you was pregnant. Now y'all hoes want to make it seem like I'm the fucking bad guy. When I start airing bitches out, your daughter is retarded because of you. Tell the truth. You had cocaine in your system. Tell the truth. And then when I take it to this next level, everybody want to say, Akbar, you wrong. But was I wrong when bitches was mentioning my children? After that, that led to this. You about to be brain dead, bitch. I promise you. Okay? Stop calling everybody your phone, bitch. No! No! You call the layer brain dead, bitch. It's over! It's over! Akbar, stop! It's over, bitch! It's over! You don't ever disrespect the layer! That's it! I know. Y'all sitting here, y'all praising this girl that's speaking. No, I came out live because you guys are sitting here, right? Speaking on a little baby that fought for her fucking life, calling her brain dead. Bitch, you even got your fucking kid. I didn't even say none of that. And I'm not going to stoop down to your level tonight. I'm not. I'm going to keep praying for you, bitch. I'm going to keep praying. But you not. You not about to play with my daughter. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> she didn't say you said I don't take it. Go take it, my kids. I'll fuck you some more. Yeah, me and you could yeah, get into it, but I never fucking bring but it. But it's not about that. You talking about your daughter is retarded and brain dead. Like leave a layer out of it. After brain dead, she don't have no brain. And then she just you just call you asking you to borrow money, bro. Like right when your kids need the sneakers, I I bought them shoes. I did. I'm ass bitch. My mom has a whole fucking big ass mansion in Atlanta. I just didn't want to be at the house at the moment because I was depressed during my pregnancy. So I slept at your house. Bitch, when would I ever be homeless, you dummy? I'm not going to sit here and keep doing this with you. All I'm going to say is this. If we're going back and forth verbally and you cross that line by bringing someone's kid involved, talking is over. We're not talking. The only verbal communication I'm going to make, had that been me, the only verbal communication I'm going to make, or any man is going to make, is this. Drop the addy. Yeah, we're not talking no more. Drop the addy. Oh, I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean to say that. Drop the addy. But I heard you were saying something about my... Drop the addy. Come on, we can piece this up. We don't have to drop the addy. Because that is a sensitive subject. Now, like I said, I don't know who started it. But one thing I can say is Akbar may have a point of bringing, saying something about uh, Alexis Sky's child, uh, which I can make the argument she doesn't. And that's just not a route you just want to go. But you went to bring, you went as far as to bring in her daughter's condition. I don't remember what she's really diagnosed with. I don't remember if it was autism or cerebral palsy. I'm not sure, I do not know. All I don't know is that little girl had to fight to stay alive. I do remember that part. So trust me when I say Alexis guy had every right to go ballistic. But the thing is keep children out of it. Because if you keep children to the side, people will tend to keep their firearms to the side as well. If Alexis Scott decides to, I'm, I'm not choosing sides on this one. I'm really not. I'm against anybody who want to uh, bring kids in a situation where they can't defend themselves. All I'm going to say is this, is one of these girls or their associates end up shot or killed? Who's to blame?